Okay, so welcome to One Point Perspective, creating the perspective grid. Um, what we're going to do in this exercise is create this perspective grid that I already have drawn to the right of this document. So um, on the computer, I'm, uh, again, I can be more accurate, but if you're doing this um, by hand, just make sure that your 35 foot line, which I'm going to draw here, uh, fits on your 11 by 17. So you need to pick the appropriate scale. So I'm going to just draw this line over at 35 feet. And this will represent uh, basically my ground plane, this line here. And the directions say um, with a horizon line five feet above my ground plane. So I'm just going to offset this 35 foot line five feet and that will give us our horizon line here. And from this point I'm just going to come up let's draw a vertical line straight up um, and also let me go ahead and match these properties I just want to um, make sure that it represents itself blue it's just easier to see as we draw kind of the horizon line okay now I'm going to pick um, a center of vision and then also my diagonal point so my center, I'm just going to do a, a point. You just make your point if you're doing it by hand, obviously. Um, and well, before I do that, let me measure this thing off. Um, we want to have one foot increments again, and this is 35. So I'm going to use another tool in AutoCAD called Measure, M-E. And I'm just going to make it one so that each of these represent one foot increment coming over to 35. And I'm going to do the same thing um, on this as well. Measure and just one straight down. And you'll see that it lines up with the five, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So we know we're right. All right, so now let me draw the center of vision. I'm just going to keep this clean and pull off one of these one foot increment markers. And I'm going to create a point. And then I'm going to come over here and do another one for um, use my polygon tool again. Let's come a little closer for my um, diagonal point, and I'm just gonna put a point in, and so we can see. So I'll go ahead and put a, some text in so I represent that. So that's the DP diagonal point. Bring this in. Looks good, and this one here. It's going to be my center of vision, my CV. All right. Now what we need to do um, is draw these receding lines that kind of vanish into the center of vision. So I'm just going to draw those in. Very similar to what we've done before with perspective. Things basically van they vanish into a, a vanishing point in the, or the center of vision. So just draw all these in. And then it needs to sweep around to the vertical line as well as the horizontal, so we'll just keep it going. And 
And next, what I'm gonna do is change to my OSNAPS, um, my OSNAP settings. So let me clear all. Um, I just want to do the nodes. I think it'll make it easier to connect. In this case, okay. So polyline again. Down. Almost there. Okay, great. Now what I like to do too is uh, create this line where the break would be. Let me do another line here and turn back on. Let's select all. One more to do. And get this kind of corner one here. Okay. Whoops. Let's try that again. Let me turn off my word though so I can actually see it. Okay. And I like to make this one a different color too. I mean, just match properties so I can distinguish between that break line as it begins to um, become vertical. All right. So we have our initial uh, beginnings of the grid created using uh, the ground plane, the horizon line, using a center, a vision, and then a diagonal point. And we've had these lines kind of receding in. Now what we want to do is draw our diagonal point coming in. Um, and I'm not going to bring it way back here because I'm going to allow us to do the perspective. So I'm going to bring it to this mark here. And then bring this one to this mark here. OK. Now the trick to finishing the grid, as you see, and maybe you can see it here, is that everywhere this diagonal line crosses a horizontal line, um, or I'm sorry, the, the lines that recede into the, to the center of vision, a horizontal line is drawn. And I'll demonstrate that to, to finish this grid. And then change this color to actually make this one green so we can see. Okay. So now, like I said, everywhere that it um, intersects one of these lines, so in this case here, and this is where I'll turn my ortho back on, and you'll just cast this straight over. Same thing over and over again. And I won't do all these, but I'll give you the general idea of how this works. Same thing on this side, wherever it intersects, a line would be drawn over. Things get a little tedious, but this is how you build it. Now, that's how you create the, these grids sweeping across, coming into your um, center of vision on the horizontal plane. On the vertical plane, same concept. And this is why I created this blue line. I made it a little, you, maybe you can make yours a little bit darker as that edge line, that profile edge. But as these lines come over then um, horizontally and strike this corner edge, then they would come up vertically to create the vertical grid. And again, and again. I think I drew that one crooked, but that's Okay, let me just delete that then. Snap here, come up. And then we would just trim at these lines. And you see the um, the boxes are, being, are beginning to appear. We can just continue this from this side. Of course, it intersects there, so that would come over and I'm go like that. Cut and then this line will just using the extend tool would just extend straight down. I could actually use an offset and just trim these two, so I'm just offsetting in this case. To be careful to come back and trim afterwards though, but not a big deal. And we'll just trim this line back. And we'll extend to this side as well. You can extend, once you have your lines drawn, then you can extend them past it to complete the grid. 
and I'll just trim that out. Set these just to complete this section. And just use my extension tool to complete it. And again, these lines would just dead end at that corner, that profile. And those would then pop up as well. So that one would come up. And you can see the boxes get smaller as they recede into the space. And that's a rule that we learned before in perspective. And again, that would just continue and you would fill all these pieces in um, until you get a grid that looks like this. And now you can begin to project things into space um, using these measured um, blocks or boxes, if you will, to help you gauge how deep something is in your perspective and even how tall it is.